Hello, you're very welcome to our video today, Easter Sunday, 17th of April, 2022. And here we are in the greenhouse, and you can see here uh, there is some nice young little figs that's on one of our fig trees. Very excited about this, so hopefully they do well. And there is a nice number on it. Um, let's see one of the ones down lower. Here we have some of the cuttings taken, and then actually this is a, of also one of the varieties that we have. We stuck these into the ground last year uh, and the fall last year, and that's of course when you have your best chance for most of your cuttings. Uh, there are some exceptions, but uh, you can see the results there. Stick them into the ground, you have a good chance. See here's a different variety. Here we have the cabbages, and of course they're doing very nicely. Very pleased with those. They provide nice greens. <clears throat> These guys have even gone. Um, they're probably getting too warm at this stage, and they're looking to get get into cooler climates, which is no problem if they go outside. Step step outside, and they'll be a bit cooler. And uh, we'll transplant them at some stage. Here we have our grapevine that's grown along here. And of course, it's got a face and a bit of competition in the nurstitium, which was planted last year and has flowered and been basically flowering and growing all through the winter inside the greenhouse. So kind of no problem for it. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll take you here to our strawberry bed. And here you will see that there is some of the little baby strawberries that are just starting to flower out and form up, I suppose you want to say. And we're hopeful that we'll have a nice little crop here. It all depends on Mr. Slug. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Slug, we'll, we'll say there. Slugs can go either way, can they? They can, they, they can be both. There's a name on that. And if you can think of that name, I can think at the moment, but uh, you can feel free to drop it into the comments section. If there are any questions or comments you have, always feel free, drop us a, a, a line. Love to hear from you. Anyway, here is the Calamon C, and it is looking for a little bit of TLC. Um, after the winter, the biggest problem it probably has is too dry. And we will, Try to get that a bit of a liquid feed of comfrey, which we have grown over here. And feed it to this. Should really spruce it up and together with some of that spring rain. And you don't see, we don't have too much going on yet in the, uh, the seed beds. And they're quite empty, but we have, I should say my wife has here Ampelaya. And it's grown, I believe. Not grown yet, but it's in the bed. And um, here we have more of our cabbages. And you can see the beautiful, actually, flowers that's on the cabbages. Kind of reminds you of the rape seed that you see in some of the fields. And over here, we have our one of our bigger figs. We'll just take a look at the potatoes here. We'll just leave them alone. Hopefully we'll have some early potatoes. And this is the um, uh, fig. You can see a few figs on it. Um, and rounding out there with our nostushum growing even over at the sink. So there we have it. Thank you for joining us on this Easter Sunday. Do take care of yourself.